Okay, so let's talk about this new differential that I've put in. So again, this is a 3.46 ratio on my 03 E46 325i, which originally had a 3.15 ratio rear differential. So that is seems like a marginal increase, but I can tell you that I can feel a difference. Happy to report, because it was a lot of work. And it would be very unfortunate if I couldn't feel a difference. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is that first and second gear run out a lot quicker. So first gear feels, I mean, it's not useless. I've heard some people say that first gear is useless. It's not useless. Third gear though, we is fun. Um, sorry, had a downshift for fun. So first gear runs out very quickly, but there is a very noticeable amount more uh, torque going to the wheels. And there's a noticeable amount more torque going to the wheels in every gear. Third gear is where you think that you would feel it quite substantially, but you don't actually feel it as substantially as you think you would low down. I, I don't know why, what this has to do with, but you notice it more in first and second gear, you notice it more in fourth and fifth, which makes no sense because it's the same amount of difference in each gear. Someone wants to do the math for that. I have no idea why that feels different, but you can still notice a difference in third gear. So what I do like about this differential so far is that I'm in fourth gear going up a hill and I put my foot down and I can feel torque. I feel a wave of torque that I did not feel before. Um, in fifth gear, you now have the ability to pass without downshifting if you're at highway speeds because you gain, I've gained about 500 RPM cruising you're closer to the torque band of the car where the where the car has peak torque. So when you put your foot down in fifth gear on the highway, it actually does pull a lot more noticeably. Um, I actually do, I like the shorter ratios. It kind of reminds me of like I'm in a rally cross car or something, right? So you, mm, 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 you shift really quick and it's kind of fun. I don't mind that at all. And I really do like the amount of extra kick. So the question is, is it worth it? Again, I'm going to say if you do this yourself and you don't mind getting your hands dirty and your shoulders sore then it, it is worth it for like the price that I paid 200 bucks this is a mod that I would do because you will notice a difference it feels like a substantial amount more torque going to the wheels but if this was if the bill was, if the, for this was going to run you closer to $500 I don't think that I would say yeah go do it because it's not that much of a difference this was one of the biggest talked about mods when I started reading about uh, E46 mods, and I was expecting a little bit more, if I'm honest. I was expecting it to be a lot more substantial. Everyone has said that, oh, you're gonna lose so much in the top end, cruising on the highway is, is worse, your fuel, mile fuel mileage is gonna be worse. I haven't noticed any fuel mileage difference. I've been driving it for a day. I'm sure it'll go down maybe a little bit, but I can't imagine it being a, a massive difference. Now, I'll show you what it looks like now, cruising at the highway, uh, cruising on the highway at highway speed so you can see where my rpms are at um this is the big question everybody has uh, so that's what this looks like So you'll see that it's not actually that different. I don't really find this to be a, a deal breaker at all, to be honest. Yeah, your fuel mileage might go down a little bit on the highway, but the trade-off is worth it. Here's third gear. Yeah, I uh, straight away here. Wee, fourth gear. It pulls more than before, without a question. Not a huge amount, but it's definitely more. I'd like to say that the, the DIY was fun. It wasn't, it, like it, working on an older BMW, I swear, something goes wrong every single time. And I, I showed you a little bit about it, but one of my uh, like CV uh, bolts 
stripped because it was really, really stuck. So I had to dremel it off, and it was just a whole thing, and I, I don't even want to think about it. I've never done a job on this car that didn't have some issue like that happen. But that's just kind of what I got myself into, I guess, so I'm not going to complain that much. But overall, I think that if you're really into modding, this is kind of a cool way of doing it. One more thing that I want to describe about how the torque feels going to the ground. It does not feel, it's hard to explain, it does not feel like you have gained more torque in the engine. It feels like it, you, it's noticeable that you've gained the torque by shortening the gears. So I can tell that my gears run out faster as I accelerate. I have to shift sooner to get up to the same speed, and it's noticeable. It does still accelerate quicker overall, the car does, but you, you notice that the reason for that is because of the shorter gearing now. So that, that's, that's what I mean. It's not like it feels like a power mod to the engine. It doesn't. It feels like a gearing change. Okay, so don't expect something to do with like people call it the poor man's supercharger no not really to be honest first of all it doesn't make anywhere near the power of a supercharger and second of all that is an engine modification you're increasing you need to be increasing crank horsepower this is increasing wheel torque and therefore horsepower so you can tell that it's from shorter gearing and not from an engine mod if you're okay with that then then do it the shorter it shorter gears you notice it every single time i've been driving this car for like a year um, and I'm, so I'm used to how the ratios feel. And now when I put my foot down in third or fourth, I, I watch the revs climb quicker than I remember them climbing before. Partly because I'm probably accelerating quicker because it's fun. But that is definitely something to take into account, is that it's noticeable. Overall, I think that this is a worthwhile mod to do to an E46 BMW. But I would couple this with all the other mods that you're supposed to do, right? Because just this alone might just end up being annoying for you to be honest, if you just lose a little bit of fuel mileage, lose a little bit of highway cruising, and the gears are shorter. Because now first gear, you kind of have to shift almost definitely, unless you want to run it out to like 5,000, uh, in, in the middle of a corner, pulling away from a stoplight. Okay, I kind of did that already, but now you really have to do that. So that's about all I have to say about this mod. I'm happy I did it. I'm excited to test it out on the track. Now, the reason I did this is because there's a section on the track that I always drive on where I get to the top end of my second gear and I bounce off the rev limiter and if I shift up into third, I just didn't have enough torque going to third to really pull me out of the corner. So I'm, my hope is that I'm going to be able to shift up as I'm exiting that corner or just after I exit that corner and then use the more torque available in third gear to really pull me out of the corner. So I'm excited to see what that works. I'll do a uh, track review of this differential hopefully soon because the shorter ratios are gonna make it different how I'm at my shift points and stuff, right? So I'm gonna have to relearn that track driving this car. So like and subscribe again for more reviews like this coming. Hopefully in the future, very soon, I'm gonna be doing uh, some Coney Yellow Shocks, that's my plan. Lowering springs, uh, try and give you guys a DIY for that. I, I think I'm going to be doing a software tune, a custom software tune for this car, which will do things like ra raise the rev limiter, change the top speed, um, uh, and uh, just change the overall way that it deals with the intake and the, and the exhaust modifications they've done to give me more power. So I'm excited to try that out and review that. Um, I'll be hopefully doing another tire review coming up soon. Uh, lots of stuff. Stay tuned. Uh, I hope to see you guys again. Uh, leave your comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. If you've done a different ratio differential, some people say the 3.38 is a little bit less intense. I don't find this one very intense overall. That's my final word on that. So I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.